So hello, Michelle. Um, and so now we have Michelle Shen from uh, QPixel uh, Incorporated, and uh, she'll be telling us about tunable polychromatic LEDs. Uh, we're looking forward to your presentation. So whenever you're ready, uh, please do start. OK, uh, thank you so much. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Michelle Chen. I am the CTO of QPixel. And today I'll be telling you a little bit about what our company is doing. We are a fabulous micro LED uh, display innovator. And we are going to show how micro LEDs are going to make that viable for the industry. So to start off, Basically, each new generation of consumer electronics demands a better display than the last. And what that means is that the ideal display would be brighter, longer lasting, more energy efficient, and higher resolution, and ideally, all at lower cost. And for some of these, micro LED technology offers solutions compared to traditional OLED or LCD technology. I think the big issue that we have to point out, though, is cost. And the reason for that is that micro LED displays are challenging to assemble. Um, traditionally, to achieve full color range requires red, green, and blue, or RGB subpixels. And as LEDs scale down, mechanical pick and place assembly of individual RGB subpixels becomes increasingly labor intensive and cost exorbitant. And to really highlight that point, as of this year, there's only one micro LED product commercially available on the market, and that is Samsung's uh, The Wall, the 110 inch micro LED TV. Um, with an estimated retail price of 150,000 US dollars. So that's not something that's really within range of the average consumer. But at QPixel, we have the technology to make micro LEDs a viable commercial product. And really, our core competence lies in our tunable polychromatic LED or TP LED pixel. So we go from this traditional red, green, and blue subpixel into a single pixel that has full color tunability. So by having that single tunable polychromatic LED pixel, we can replace the three red, green, and blue subpixels and greatly simplify micro LED assembly as we know it. So there's two major challenges in the micro LED display industry, the first being display resolution, and the second is the cost of manufacturing. And with our core competence, we address both of these issues. So the TP LED, um, because we're going from three to one pixel, that really enables ultra high pixel density. And that's really especially useful for small, high resolution displays uh, for near eye viewing, such as for AR or VR. The second is the cost of manufacturing. Because we've simplified our pixel assembly process, we can significantly streamline full color display assembly. And this is especially useful for a low cost, high yield, large area displays, such as those used in televisions, or smartwatches or phones. So our core competence directly addresses both major bottlenecks. <clears throat> so in 2016, um, the world's first monolithic full color LED was announced and published. Um, and this was work done by our current uh, CEO of QPixel. Um, this was a wafer level demonstration shown at his previous company, Ostendo. And um, we, we, we see this as like a very interesting science perspective that we're able to tune this full color range using current. But it's important to point out that while scientifically inter interesting, this uh, demonstration shown at Ostendo was at the single wafer level, not at the pixel level. And it's uh, not feasible for display due to the large driving current differential, which you can see here is about 70 times different. So that's not really feasible for um, an IC driver for an actual commercial display. So at QPixel, we have a couple of different uh, core competences. So it lies in several patented technologies for tunable polychromatic micro LED pixels and displays. The first being a novel growth method. So we have a growth method that enables us to have full color tunability within the same wafer in a single monolithic growth with a significantly reduced dri driving current differential that makes it much more feasible for displays. The second is that we have a, a number of novel processing methods that enable us to make these very small pixels at ultra high densities for very high resolution pixel displays. So six months ago, back in May, um, we announced the current world record for a uh, full color micro LED display uh, with 5,000 PPI pixel density. And this had surpassed the previous world record of 2000 PPI held by Itri in Taiwan. 